Hometown Girl is a big hit for Josh Turner and was written by Mark Beeson and Daniel Tashian. The song's in the key of F sharp, so we'll need to down tune the acoustic and the electric guitar to E flat standard tuning so we can play those nice open key of G chords uh, like we hear on the record. All that is is when we take each string in E standard or normal standard tuning and go down a half step each. So we should be able to play a G chord and have it sound like that. On the acoustic guitar, we have a pretty straightforward chord progression and strum pattern through the entire song until we get to the outro where we'll do some arpeggiation. On the electric guitar, uh, we've got a lot going on through the whole song, everything from uh, electric rhythm part over the choruses to a pretty cool guitar solo over the bridge. As I mentioned in the introduction, we'll be in E flat standard tuning, so you should be able to play a G chord and have it sound like that. Um, all that is is taking every string a half step down from standard tuning. The chords we're gonna use, let's go over them first, are gonna be a standard D chord, which is open D string, second fret of G, third fret, second fret. Then we have an E minor, seven, which is open low E string, second fret of A, second fret of D, open G, third fret, third fret. And then we have a C2 chord, which is the third fret of A, second fret of D, open G, third fret of B, third fret of high E. And that's really all the chords that we're gonna need to get through this whole song. Um, it's really the same strum pattern basically as well. It's just going to be a different feel from the verses to the choruses. On the verses, we'll want it a little bit more uh, subtle, a little softer, something more like this. You also notice on these verses, I'm leaving my pinky off altogether. I'm kind of muting that high E string for all these chords. Um, so that high note ring, we're gonna do it just a little bit differently. And we're gonna play this. One, and two, and three, and four. And that's when it fades out. Uh, and we're just gonna end it after two times through. Um, so let's go over that real fast here on this D chord. This time we were doing, right? But now we're gonna get ready to hammer down this middle finger on the second fret of the high E string when we do that first downstroke. Now the D string, downstroke again, and then open high E string, upstroke on the B string to the open D. And now pinky finger on third fret of high E, break it down to B, then downstroke on the D string. All right, and a chorus. In this tutorial, we're gonna go over all of the electric guitar parts, except for the guitar solo over the bridge, which we'll do in its own tutorial next. 
So let's jump right in here and let's start with this first riff that we hear. For tone, I've got it on the neck pickup. Uh, really pretty clean tone. Uh, ideally, if you could just crank up a tube amp to where it's breaking up just a little bit. Uh, and then a little bit of delay, a little bit of reverb should get you pretty close, maybe some compression. And uh, yeah, and then we're going to have this. This is all tabbed out right beneath the video player at sixstringcountry.com. This comes in uh, at the very beginning of the song. Uh, one whole measure goes by, then we count and come in on the third beat of the next one. So one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, let's get just that much. We're on. Uh, with our pinky finger, 10th fret of B, up to 12, back to 10, and down to 8, and then a little full bend with your pointer finger. Use your, uh, use your pointer finger to support, excuse me, and we're going to actually bend it with our middle finger here. And you come right back down, and we'll do this. And I like to reach. All right, let's look at the solo for Hometown Girl. It's a very cool solo. Um, for tone, I've, I left it on my neck pickup here, and really all I did was give myself a little bit of a boost. Um, it's really, you don't need to add a ton of distortion or anything like that. It's that same kind of warm uh, tone, with just a little, it sounds like kind of a cranked up tube amp kind of overdrive, but not really like a big distortion pedal or anything like that. Um, little delay, little reverb. This is all tabbed out beneath the video player at sixstringcountry.com. So I'll play through it once, nice and slow, but in tempo, then I'll talk through it note by note, then I'll turn on the metronome and we'll play through it at full speed. All right, so here's how it looks. We're all in position five, pentatonic. For really, generally the whole solo, we slide up uh, once or twice, but for most part, this is kind of our home base. So coming out of that last chorus, uh, Two, three, go. 